This is a tutorial on uh, something uh, rather I should have done earlier on in my Python tutorials. It just helps you out a little bit. I'm going to go into my Python environment here and I'm going to import uh, a module. I'll import the uh, OS module, which allows you to do things with the operating system, uh, such as create files, change directory, that sort of stuff. Um, so now we have OS imported, but how do we use OS? Uh, and I can show you how to get some options from the OS that you just imported. We're going to do dir, and then inside parentheses we'll do OS now, since that's been imported. We click enter, and it gives a long list of available functions of that module you imported. Uh, so here's one path. Now if we want to learn how a little bit more about path, we do dir, dot, dir OS dot path. And do remember these are case sensitive, so however they're written in the list here is how they work. So we'd enter there and it shows you some more options. So we have path and we can do same file. And we can go down one more. So we can go dir, inside parentheses we do os.path.same file. And we get a little more into that functionality of that feature. We'll import something else here. We'll import the get pass, which we I just did a tutorial on. Uh, which allows you to get the user input but doesn't display it on the screen so you can uh, get password inputs since you don't want those displayed on the screen once again if you want to know a little bit more about that you do dir and then inside parentheses we'll type get pass and it gives us there aren't many functions of that uh, but you can see we got the raw input option here the get pass which is what we used inside the uh, the, the tutorial we got get user, we got OS. I don't know what all these do. And this is more of it doesn't necessarily tell you exactly what everything does, but it's more of a refresher if you know how something works uh, and you just forget exactly what the option is. I find this very useful. I don't know what the OS function is with get pass. I can hit that. Oh, there's a lot of options in there. We can do wait, wait three, wait four. And now even though I may not know what some of these do, uh, I can I can now Google them. I can Google get pass dot OS dot walk and maybe I'll find out what that function does. Let's import something else. We'll now import uh, GTK, uh, which we're going to get into tutorials on that soon on uh, making GUI applications using the GTK toolkit. Uh, so now that GTK is installed, you'll see this one has a lot of options to it. Dir GTK inside parentheses. You can see a long list of options here. And remember, once again, I said earlier, the case sensitive, some of them are all lowercase, some of them are all uppercase, some of them are have certain letters uppercase. So just remember that things are case sensitive in Python. Um, so as you can see, GTK has a lot of stuff. Here's a bun bunch of button options. Uh, one of them is just uh, button, and it has a capital B. So let's do that um, right there. We'll do GTK dot button, and we'll hit enter, and you can see uh, options for the button. Uh, we can set properties, set relation, relation to actions, uh, set an image to it. Uh, so uh, at this point, you know, like I said, if you know how to do stuff like set label is the words on the button. Um, if you don't know how to use them, these will give you something to at least Google if you're if you're still learning. And it also is a reminder if you forgot how to do something or you can't remember exactly. Oh, is it set label with a capital L? You know, you can't remember you can do this and it will tell you exactly what you need to type out so that is it so once you're in the python environment after you import something you can do dir and then parentheses start doing a search on options for those features so thank you for watching visit filmsbychris.com also if you have any comments or questions feel free to comment on this video but we also have a forum at filmsbychris.com forward slash forum um, please feel free to share stuff there and ask questions uh, and hopefully we can get a good community going there to help each other out. And also chat with us at uh, Freenode. At, uh, the channel is Films by Chris. Uh, if you don't uh, know much about IRC, you can just go to filmsbychris.com forward slash IRC and it will give you a web-based um, environment that you can chat with us on IRC. I try to spend a lot of time in there whenever I am not busy. Uh, but there's a lot of good, knowledgeable people in there, and hopefully, once again, we can build a good community in there and get a lot of people who are friendly and will help 
other people answer questions on things like Bash and Python and other things I go over in tutorials. I thank you for watching and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Have a great day.